Delhi and Mumbai. Delhi and Mumbai are two major metro cities of India. The former being the national capital of India and the latter the financial capital. Delhi Delhi along with New Delhi the capital of India forms the national capital territory that is NCT of Delhi. Delhi also called Old Delhi is believed to be the site of the great city of Indraprast built by the Pandavas. Most of today's Delhi is what Emperor Shah Jahan rebuilt and named Shah Jahanabad. The state bird is the sparrow and the state languages are Hindi, Punjabi and Urdu. National Capital Region NCR The National Capital Region of India includes Delhi National Capital Territory along with some areas of neighboring states like Haryana, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh. Location of Delhi Delhi is situated in the northern part of the country on the banks of the river Yamuna. Delhi shares borders with the states of Rajasthan in the west, Haryana in the north and Uttar Pradesh in the east. Climate of Delhi Delhi has an extreme climate with very hot summers from early April until July. The city experiences hot, dry winds called Lu during the summer months. The winter season starts in mid-December and goes until mid-February and is extremely cold. History of Delhi Delhi has great historic value and ethnic significance. It is a political center, being the capital city, and is also an important commercial, transport, and cultural hub of the country. It has been the capital city of many empires showing the influence of Mughal, Qutub and Lodhi dynasties in its monuments. The numerous monuments in the city are testimony to its rich and glorious history. The remains of the Qutub complex comprising the famous Qutub Minar and Iron Pillar Humayu's tomb, Safdar Jung's tomb and Lodhi's tomb are architectural marvels belonging to the medieval period of Indian history. Important Monuments Delhi is a tourist's delight with its ancient monuments and architectural marvels. Ancient Monuments These monuments belong to various ancient Indian dynasties. Red Fort Built by Emperor Shah Jahan in the 17th century AD, the Red Fort is one of the most important monuments of national heritage. Qutub Minar it is the tallest brick minaret in the world. Built exclusively in red brick and sandstone, it is an exquisite example of Indo-Islamic architecture of 12th and 13th century AD. 
Iron Pillar The Iron Pillar was built in memory of King Chandragupta II, also known as King Vikramaditya in 4th century AD. It has Sanskrit inscriptions on it. The Iron Pillar is rust-free even today, thus exemplifying India's expertise in the field of metallurgy 2000 years ago. Humayu's Tomb Humayu's tomb was built in the 16th century AD. The tomb is known for the Mughal architectural design built by the Persian architect Mirak Mirza. Jama Masjid 17th century AD Jama Masjid is the biggest mosque in Asia. It was built by Emperor Shah Jahan. Modern Monuments These include monuments that were built during the British era. Edwin Lutyens was a British architect who was commissioned between 1920s and 1930s to build many such monuments and buildings in Delhi. As a tribute to this architect, an area in New Delhi is also referred to as Lutyens Delhi. Rashtrapati Bhavan It is the official residence of the President and is situated in New Delhi. It also has one of the most beautiful and well-maintained gardens of India, the Mughal Gardens. The Parliament or Sansad Bhavan The House of Parliament or Sansad Bhavan is located in New Delhi. India Gate India Gate is located on Rajpath, the royal path that leads to the President's residence. An eternal flame called the Amar Javan Jyoti burns in memory of all the martyrs who laid down their lives for the motherland. Places of Tourist Attractions Jantar Mantar, built by Raja Jai Singh of Jaipur in the 18th century AD, is an observatory with a sundial. An observatory is a place or building equipped to make observations of astronomical, meteorological or other natural phenomena. Lotus Temple The Lotus Temple is a wonderful piece of modern architecture. It is also known as Baha'i Temple. Akshardham Temple The Akshardham Temple is a massive temple complex in Delhi. It is dotted with 20,000 statues, floral motifs, arches as well as exquisitely carved pillars. Commercial centers like Kanot Place, Janpath are truly a shopper's delight. The Delhi Metro has made commuting in Delhi quite comfortable. Famous Personalities of Delhi Delhi has given India many famous personalities like Kiran Bedi, first woman IPS officer, Shah Rukh Khan, actor, Virendra Sehwag, cricketer, awarded Padma Shri, 
चेतन भगत नॉवलिस्ट कैप्टन अनुज नैयर कारगिल हीरो वॉज पोस्ट ह्यूमसली अवॉर्डेड द महावीर चक्र Delhi and Mumbai 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 the capital city of Maharashtra is also regarded as the commercial capital of the country It is also dubbed as the city of dreams or the city that never sleeps Location of Mumbai Mumbai is situated on the western coast of India alongside the Arabian Sea Originally a group of 7 islands Mumbai was formed by reclaiming the islands Climate of Mumbai The climate of Mumbai is moderately hot with high level of humidity the winter season extends from december to february while the summer season starts in march and ends in june the rainy season spans from mid june to september History of Mumbai Kolis a Marathi speaking fishing community are the earliest known settlers of Mumbai living here since about 2000 years Mumbai has been ruled over by the Hindus Mughals Portuguese and the East India Company at different periods of time historical monuments such as kanheri caves 3rd century ad jogeshwari caves early 6th century ad elephanta caves 6th to 7th century ad valkeshwar temple 10th century ad and Ban Ganga tank 12th century AD indicate the influence of several rulers or cultures on the social fabric of Mumbai By 1668 most of the island city was under the British East India Company and it was in 1687 that bombay as it was known back then became their headquarters important places of mumbai modern architecture of mumbai reflects a strong european influence many monuments and buildings in south mumbai were constructed during the british rule places of tourist attraction gateway of india was erected to commemorate the arrival of king george the 5th and queen mary of england at apollo bandar in 1911 marine drive also known as queen's necklace is a driveway stretching alongside the arabian sea the prince of wales museum near the gateway of india integrates mughal maratha and jain style of architecture it is a three floor museum with exquisite artifacts Flora Fountain also called Hutatma Chowk Hanging Gardens Kamla Nehru Park Tarapurwala Aquarium Nehru Planetarium 
and beaches such as Aksa, Juhu, Girgaum Chopati are other famous tourist places. The Sanjay Gandhi National Park houses 2,400 years old Buddhist Kaneri caves belonging to 3rd century AD. Religious Places Siddhi Vinayak Temple, Mahalakshmi Temple, Global Pagoda, Haji Ali are some of the prominent religious places in Mumbai. Famous Personalities of Mumbai Mumbai has given India many famous personalities like Homi J. Baba, scientist, Ratan Tata, industrialist and former CEO of Tata Group, Kumar Mangalam Birla, industrialist and business tycoon. Sachin Tendulkar, Cricketer Sunil Gavaskar, Legendary Cricketer Medha Patkar, Great Woman Activist Important Institutions in Mumbai Mumbai houses many important institutions related to the field of commerce and trade, such as Headquarters of the Reserve Bank of India, RBI National Stock Exchange of India, NSE Scientific and Nuclear Institutes like BARC NPCL and Department of Atomic Energy. Bombay High Court. Jawaharlal Nehru Port. Film City. Facts about Mumbai. The hanging gardens at Malabar Hill are built over three reservoirs that can store up to 300 lakh gallons of water. The Quit India movement was launched by Gandhiji in Mumbai in 1942 from Gowalia Tank. It is now called August Kranti Maidan. Mumbai has by far the largest number of skyscrapers in India.